Part 1 Introduction During the manufacture of a bearing, a soft lining is cast onto the face of the bearing to provide a surface to protect the rotating component from damage. The goal of the casting process is to establish a metallurgical bond between the tin, for these are tin-based babbit or white metal, and the bearing shell material. Where the shell material is steel, the bond forms iron tin compounds, termed intermetallic compounds. Where the shell material is a copper alloy, the bond forms copper tin. Part 2, UT Fundamentals. UT examination requires an inspector with a probe and a display device, along with couplant and a test block. The inspector should work under ASNT, or Comparable Compatible Program, to achieve high quality, consistent results. Reflections above the noise level are noted visually and marked on the bearing. If needed, a better boundary of the indicated region can be obtained with the smaller diameter probe. Steel has a much higher transmission speed for ultrasonic waves than Babbitt, so a minor level of reflection from the bond line can always be detected, even where there is good bond integrity. Part 3 UT Examination of the Calibration Block This test block has a section of uniform Babbitt thickness, partially bonded to steel and partially open. The open region generates a Part 4 UT Examination of the Thrust Shoe. The test block shows the inspection of a simple case where there is a uniform back wall reflection and the potential for bond line reflection, indicating a poor bond integrity. An actual thrust bearing can have features which create a variation. Part 5, UT examination of a radial bearing. Similar to a thrust bearing, the UT examination of a radial bearing, whether a full round bearing, split bearing, or tilting pad segments, provides assurance of a reliable Babbitt bond. Unlike the thrust bearing, the surface of the radial bearing is curved. For smaller diameter... Also, on the back of the part, there's a large counter bore. So we'll see the back wall change again. Part 6, Acceptance Criteria. There are many procedures and acceptance criteria for ultrasonic examination. Many are based on the U.S. military standard MILB22852 from 19... This examination is one of several key components of the quality inspection of every new and refurbished Babbitted bearing.